What's going on guys? It's your boy Goonzig here. Welcome back to episode number four of our 250 stock bike career mode playthrough. We are hopping in to, like I said, round four at day now I hate this track let me know in the comments guys question of this video how do you guys feel about the Daytona track here in Monster Energy Supercross 2 do you guys like it do you not like it let me know in the comments below me personally I don't really like it it's not a fun track in my opinion you're just kind of bouncing all over the place like there's no flow to it I find it's just like hold it wide open bounce through the sections and you're golden so that's what we're doing today we're just gonna send it at daytona and i mean that's pretty much all there is to it round four of our 250 stock bike playthrough let's get into the video So we're starting off with the promotional day. I decided to throw on the seven gear. Of course, we're rocking the Husqvarna. Look at us looking all fresh. Um, actually, I don't think we're gonna rock the Husky. It's time to change it up, is it not? It's time to change up the bike. Like I said in all of the previous episodes, I'm trying to switch it up every single video. Hopefully we have enough credits and everything to, to buy a bike. And what are we gonna go with? What bike? Yamaha, let's buy a Yam. Look at the front number plate on this bad boy. What the heck is that? Just to show you guys, we are on a stock bike. We have the stock handlebars, the stock hand grips, the stock hand guards, the stock exhaust, the stock tires the stock rims, the stock suspension, and the stock brakes. Rear sprocket is, well, stock. The saddle, of course, stock. We're rocking the stock Yamaha seat in. I think we're gonna leave the bike looking like that even though the number plate looks a little funky, but we're gonna rock the GoPro graphics and we're gonna get into it. Media day is next, the media days. I just wish there were more to them, man. Look at us, we're talking to someone. I love it, That <laughs> that's a good little cutscene, but there could be a lot more to those cutscenes, so. I don't know, maybe in the next game, I guess we'll have to wait and see, but now we get to send it to Daytona. It's always really easy when you do like a promotional day and a media day, it's just like two quick cutscenes and then boom, you're right into the race. Let me know in the comments as well, do you guys like this track? That was question number one in the video. How do you feel about the Daytona layout? I personally don't really like it. Question number two guys, let me know if you like longer videos or shorter videos. What is like? the time length of a video that you would want to watch. I just noticed that the last video that went up, the triple crown round, it was like, it was like, I don't even know, 28 minutes or something like that. And not a lot of people clicked on it, not a lot of people watched it. I don't know if it didn't hit sub boxes or what. YouTube does its own thing sometimes, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Do you guys enjoy longer videos, shorter videos? Let me know in the comments below. But just so you guys can see over on that side of the screen there, we have the standard event type. The race length is a medium, the race sessions semi-pro, so we are doing qualifying physics are on advanced and then AI difficulty is on realistic nothing other than realistic so we are on the stock bike look at my number oh my god it's so crooked ah, I love it I absolutely love it we'll have to change that for next episode but for this episode we're rocking a goofy looking number I didn't even think about that to be honest so we have 10 minutes of qualifying to try and hit a hot lap not goon it up we can't goon it up we gotta hit clean laps and we gotta try and win this race. We are leading the points, we have that red plate. I guess we do have to worry about losing the points lead. We do, if we do bad today, we're gonna lose the points lead. So we need to qualify. We can't be doing anything like in our 450 career where we didn't even qualify for the main event. I forget what track that was at, but we struggled. So we gotta make it into the night show and we gotta get some good results here in this race at Daytona. But I don't know, I just find the track it's a different style of track, obviously, because you're outdoors, you're at Daytona, and they kind of make it almost like an outdoor Supercross track, like motocross style, in a way. And I find this layout just, I don't know, it's not fun. There's nothing about it that I find super, super fun. So our last lap, I know I didn't show you guys the full thing, but we hit the fastest lap in qualifying already. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can beat our lap time, and then we'll hop into the race. The thing with the stock bike, oh no, I thought we were going off track. We're good, we're good, we're alive, no complaints. But the thing with the stock bike is it doesn't have, I don't know, like the braking power, it doesn't have the suspension, it doesn't have like the the power of a modded out factory bike, if that makes sense. 
and you can tell when you're playing. I don't know why, I love 250s in this game. Everyone's like, oh, you like the 250 class because the 250 AIs are easier. And I'm like, I mean, like, you're not wrong. Like, yeah, the 250 AIs are easier. I just find 250s are more enjoyable to ride in this game. Because on 250s, like, you have to be shredding. You have to be hitting your lines good. You have to be hitting clean lines in order to be going fast. And you can't just rely on, like, the power of the bike to pull you through certain sections. On a 450, you can hit certain sections and it's either really easy to over jump something or like you can completely like mess up in a corner, turn around and hit a super clean line out of it. Like you don't really have to hit your marks in the corners and everything. And I don't know, I find I'm just a 250 guy, but a 114.854 is our fastest lap that we're gonna go with and we're gonna head on in to the race. So we ended up qualifying first and we are 1.365 seconds quicker than Jordan Smith who qualified in second. Not too shabby, we can hop into this, we can go and we can have fun with it. I just realized you can redo qualifying. You can click X and restart the qualifying. That would have been really key, really crucial to know back in our 450 career mode when I completely failed qualifying, qualified 23rd. That would have been really good to know that we could have just went back, redid it. I would have cut it out of the video. You guys would have never known movie magic here on YouTube. So I don't think I'm gonna choose, it doesn't matter. I, I wasn't gonna choose a good gate, but we'll choose a gate just so someone else doesn't get it. What we're gonna do is a 10 second head start. Let's do 12. 12 second head start, all right, maybe 13 by the time we get going, and uh, we'll try and maybe pick up this uh, monster girl and uh, get her number. You never know. Maybe I got the hots for her. She looks like a man. <laughs> oh, dude, this game, out of everything they could have spent time on, why do the monster girls look like potatoes? Huh? Adam Antignap out there holding the 30 second void, but we're going to wait 12 seconds, and then we're going to go. My thing is, oh, no, don't loop our Larry. I don't really have confidence in us catching up to these guys just because I am a goon, especially at this track. I, I goon it up at this track. Like, I don't know why. I don't know if it's just me. There's probably people out there that absolutely love this track. I just find there is no flow, and I am just lost when I play this track. Like, I'm bouncing through sections, looping my Larry, and I really don't even know. I don't even know how to explain it. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just because I'm a goon. The true goonage, man. The true goonage. But guys, if you enjoy this video at any point in time, make sure to smash that thumbs up button for me. If you're new around here, make sure to smash that subscribe button. Become a member of the Goon Squad. And uh, yeah, we are always streaming. Streaming this game. Streaming Fortnite. Having fun with it. The channel. I don't know. It's been popping recently. You guys don't want to miss out on the stuff we've been doing. So stay subscribed to the channel. Turn on those post notifications. Okay, yep, we clipped a tough block and it sent us right to the ground. That is one thing that's really actually, I would say frustrating with this game. Like, I don't know if you guys watch Daytona, like the actual Daytona round, but Forkner, people, people were landing on tough blocks and stuff, man. People were getting sketchy, landing on tough blocks, clipping tough blocks, and they didn't go down. Why do we, why do we get sent instantly off the bike? when we clip a tough block in this game. Okay, 18th place, six and a half minutes to go. We gotta try and catch these guys. We got some work to do. We got some work to do. We gooned it up. We gooned it up for that first lap. We gotta go. We gotta go and we gotta try and get up to the front. We got Tennant here, Luke Rensland. We got a bunch of people that we gotta try and pass. Up into 15th place at the end of lap number two. And okay. It is grind time. We got some work to do. I don't think we're gonna win the race. I don't think we're gonna win the race. We are way back here. But that's A-okay, in my opinion. A-okay, it's a challenge. We gotta challenge ourselves to get better at the game. We gotta see if we can catch up. That is the thing. We could go off the start. We could battle with the leader the whole entire time and probably end up checking out. Or we can come here, we can do a challenge actually challenge ourselves to try and get the win and then in the long run we're learning we're learning how to ride faster make passes and stuff and i don't know i like doing the head start challenges let me know in the comments if you guys like the head start challenges if you don't let me know as well it's interesting to know when you guys play do you do any sort of challenge to make the game kind of more entertaining for you or more interesting let me know in the comments i feel like 
A lot of people don't like the head start challenges. They're like, Goon, why do you do a head start challenge every single time? And it's like, honestly, I find it just makes the game like that little bit better. There's a little bit more of like an adrenaline rush when you're playing it. And like four and a half minutes into it, you're sitting in sixth place. Right? Like, if I went off the start, maybe we'll do it in next episode, okay? Next episode, I'll go off the start and try and just check out, alright? We'll try and get that early lead and just be gone. But you guys can let me know in the comments below. Let me know. What do you guys think? Challenges? No challenges? Do you guys do challenges when you play? Or do you guys just go off the start, try and get a good start, get that early lead and check out? What is, like, the usual way that you guys go about your race? Let me know in the comments. There we go, finally got that triple-triple line. We are up in to third. Third place with three minutes to go. Three minutes to go, it looks like Alvin Reno. Have you guys heard of Alvin? Because I have not. He is up here in second. And then we got Jimmy D, the man James Dakotis out front. If you guys know who Jimmy D is, he is a legend. Absolute legend in the sport. Oh, and he went down. He went down. Oh, man. So, I think if we can stay consistent and not make any mistakes, we will definitely catch up to these guys. Can we have a battle with Mr. Dakotis? Is it going to be a battle, or are we going to get that easy pass? Oh, man. On the inside. Can I squeeze this inside? Am I still going to make the triple? We're up. Triple jump. Land. Get on the gas up and over that's a hard triple to make after the actual supercross triple it's like i don't even know how to describe it but it is tough to get up and over it oh we ruined this section can we bust a triple out we did let's go man let's uh, go up through here over the dragon's back casing our brains out and we are in to the lead with two minutes to go so and here we go guys on to the last Lap. I gotta say, Jimmy D is keeping us honest. We haven't really checked out. Like, he is chilling right back behind us. Only like two seconds down. Not even, I would say. Like, he's. Oh, man. Why would I look back? Wow, okay. That is definitely not how you want to hit that section. That was a goon moment for sure. But, uh, Jimmy D keeping us honest. Especially with that mistake. He's like right behind us now. And, okay, let's not go off track again, man. Let's not go off track again. Let's get through this section clean. Okay, I dig it. Up and over through here. Hold her wide open through the S-Bend. Jump over this. Through this section. I don't even know what you would call that section. Like, it's not a whoop section, but, like, it's not rollers. Like, you're kind of jumping through it. I don't even know, man. I don't even know what you would call that section. Over the Supercross triple, land, get on the gas, and just hold her yoked to get through this section. We have one section to go before we are the king of Daytona. Rup. Rup. Triple, triple. Land, get on the gas, and we are good to go. Victory is ours. Let's go. So Jimmy D actually fell back to third. Osborne came up and finished in second, seven seconds down. It looks like Osborne actually passed Jimmy D like right at the finish line. Considering it wasn't even like a hundredth of a second separating them, they must have had a battle right at the end. Taking the top step of the podium at Daytona. Man, that's killer. Let's go. Got the sponsor objective done and everything. And for points, look at that. We are chilling in the lead with 104 Osborne is in second with 88 and then Ferrandis is actually in third with 72 points can't complain but guys that is it for today's video the stock Yamaha challenge has been completed if you guys did enjoy make sure to smash that thumbs up button for me go down there click that subscribe button turn on the post notifications throw a comment down below and I will catch you guys tomorrow we're gonna be doing a video on the new DLC for this game that came out the LA Coliseum you guys don't want to miss that video so make sure you subscribe turn on those notifications and I will catch you in the next one peace out